Hi everyone, Elizabeth Gillis here, owner of Regain Health and Balance in Londonderry, New Hampshire. I am a certified Body Talk practitioner and I am here to give an overview of the Body Talk Healthcare System. So the Body Talk Healthcare System was founded by this guy here who looks kind of like Santa Claus. His name is Dr. John Valpheim and he is the founder of Body Talk. So he is a formally trained acupuncturist and chiropractor, and he also served as the principal of the Brisbane College of Acupuncture and Natural Therapies in Brisbane, Australia for five years. He developed Body Talk out of a personal health crisis. He became ill with the Epstein-Barr virus and ran a chronic fever of about 100 degrees on a daily basis. All of the training that he had, all the therapies that he had access to, nothing actually did anything to help him with his condition. Fortunately for him, he met an osteopath in New Zealand who did a technique for him that worked. She did this technique on him. He spiked a higher fever for three days. After three days, his fever broke and the Epstein-Barr virus was gone. So... That was the birth of Body Talk. He ended up researching this technique, tweaking it a little bit, and it became the very first technique done in Body Talk. So, what is Body Talk? Body Talk is a natural form of healthcare. It is an energy based system, and it's currently practiced in 50 countries worldwide. If you're lucky enough to live in Australia, Australia does recognize Body Talk as being a form of healthcare that is reimbursable under private healthcare insurance. Unfortunately, we haven't reached that point in the United States, but I am hopeful that at some point in the new, near future, our country will be a little bit more open to alternative therapies for healing. Vital combines numerous ancient and modern, modern healing therapies, and it kind of takes the juicy bits and parts of all of them and has integrated into one great system. So we have the facts and findings of Western medicine where we can identify organs, endocrines, body parts. We mix that with Chinese medicine and psychology of the body. Psychology of the body is you know, each body part has almost like a personality. The pericardium of the heart is all about protection. Um, the energy systems of acupuncture, so your meridians. We've got applied kinesiology, quantum physics, epigenetics, ancient Hatha yoga, Ayurvedic medicine. You name it, it seems as if Body Talk has it. And it allows for multiple perspectives on healing rather than just looking at things one way. Bytalk can be seamlessly integrated with any other treatments or health care that you're currently receiving, and it will help strengthen the effectiveness of those treatments if you get Body Talk in conjunction to those. But Body Talk can also be used as a standalone system, so you can come in and see me and just get Body Talk sessions. What's interesting about Body Talk is there's no diagnosis. First of all, I am not a licensed medical person, so I'm not allowed to do that. But we also don't have an agenda on how to treat you. And people kind of get a little flabbergasted and go, huh? They don't understand that if you don't give me a label of what's wrong with me, and if you don't have a plan on how to treat me, how can you actually help me? So hopefully I will be able to explain how all of this works as we continue on in the presentation. So we have a different approach in Body Talk. We don't look for problems, we actually look for priorities. And when I think about this, I kind of imagine a mom, busy mom who like has like three or four kids and all of a sudden someone, or they all come running in from the backyard all at once and they're all yelling and screaming and want her help. She has to prioritize which child needs her attention first. And that's what we do in Body Talk. Out of everything that's going on with you, what is the most important thing that we need to address for you today? So we let the body tell us what it needs and what techniques it requires. So the conventional approach to healthcare is in general, about treating a symptom or body part. So if you have a symptom, then they're going to give you something so that you don't feel the negative effects of that symptom. If there's a body part, well, maybe they're going to recommend surgery. So for everyone who gets X diagnosis, the treatment protocol is pretty much always going to be A, until A doesn't work, then they try B, then they try C. And the treatments that they give you may have negative side effects. If you take the prescription medication, then you may have side effects from that medication. If, you're, if you schedule surgery, well, there might be complications either before, during, or after the surgery. The body talk approach to healthcare is very, very different. 
We treat the whole person. We don't narrow our viewpoint. And you will see this in an example that I have with an actual client of mine in which she was experiencing a lot of shoulder pain. But we didn't actually directly address her shoulder in her treatment session to alleviate her shoulder pain. No two sessions are ever the same in body talk. Instead, we look at underlying factors and causes for what is manifesting itself as a symptom or an illness. We cannot cause harm and we cannot overtreat you. Worst case scenario with body talk is that nothing changes, okay? Not a bad deal. So sessions are cumulative. Every single session builds upon the one before. The body actually memorizes and stores the body talk session in your system. It's great for preventative care and maintenance, and BITOC allows healing and changes to happen at just the right pace for each person. So not everyone can handle changes and shifts going on in them at a very, very fast pace. So we don't have to worry that we're going to overtreat you or do something too quickly for you to handle because the body won't allow us to do that. So you do see this in people who have had gastric bypass surgery, right? They lose weight so quickly that sometimes it's hard for them to adjust to the new person that they're getting, the attention that they're receiving, all of this stuff. And sometimes they even need to receive counseling sessions to help them deal with the new person that they've become so quickly. I always say that I'd love to look like Jennifer Aniston, but if somebody snapped their fingers and there was a genie in the bottle and tomorrow I woke up being Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston, I think it would actually kind of freak me out. And it would freak out the people around me, my, my kids, my family, my friends. They'd be like, who are you? You, you keep telling me that you're, you're, you're my friend, but you look like someone completely different. So Biotalk is the perfect support system in your improvement journey, whatever that may be. Maybe you're dealing with anxiety, depression, and stress. Maybe you want to help uh, improve phys your physical health or take care of pain that you're experiencing. Maybe it's for personal growth and development, breaking unhealthy patterns. You know, maybe you keep dating the same guy and don't understand why you keep doing that and you want to break free of doing that. Maybe you're stuck in a rut and you want to move forward. There's goals that you want to achieve, but for some reason there's subconscious things that are causing you to self-sabotage yourself and you just can't get there. So maybe you need help in seeing your own self-worth and gain self-confidence. These are all things that Body Talk can help with. So remember, it's all about the person's priorities. So whatever your needs are, that's exactly what the Body Talk session will be geared towards for you. So the body is made up of 70 trillion cells in constant communication. Absolutely every single system, part, cell, atom is in, is in communication constantly with every other body part, cell, atom, system. So absolutely everything in the body is connected. When communication breaks down in the body, the parts forget how to work together as a team. And the body starts working harder instead of smarter, and it has a hard time keeping up with the demands placed upon it. So what causes communication breakdowns? Stress ca causes these breakdowns. It could be anything. Everyone has many forms of stressors and unique stressors in their lives. Okay? It could be nutritional, emotional. It could be the Wi-Fi signals that are constantly bombarding and overwhelming our brains. It could be physical injury. It could be toxic relationships. Here's something that's really important to understand. The body cannot heal, repair, and rejuvenate when it is responding to stress. When we have stress in our lives, all of our resources that would normally go to healing and repairing and rejuvenating our bodies, they leave that aspect, they leave the healing state, and they go to the stress response. So you cannot do both at the same time. And especially in this day and age, it's so vitally important to take the time to do things for ourselves where we can be in that healing mode and not in that stressful reactive mode. So I like to compare us as humans to computers. So how many of you have actually purchased a brand new computer to replace an old crappy one? I know I have. And you plug it in, you get it all set up, and you're just amazed at how wonderfully it works. You're going, where has this been, been my entire life? It downloads stuff at lightning speed. It, you can open multiple programs at the same time. It's super fast and responsive. It's, you're not getting that circle of death that my husband calls it on the computer. But 
In order to keep the computer running that effectively, we need to do regular maintenance on it. We need to install virus software. We need to declutter the hard drive and get rid of things to free up the memory that we no longer need. We need to de run defrags, scans, cleanups. We need to upgrade the operating systems. If we don't do these maintenance pieces, then six months, a year, or two, year from, two years from now, what is going to happen to your computer? It's going to start slowing down, and it's not going to be as re responsive, and it's not going to work as well as it did in the very beginning. Our bodies aren't that much different from our computer system. Okay? We need to do regular maintenance for ourselves in order to keep us running optimally. If you look at a two or three year old, they're full of vitality, they have so much energy, and we think, oh my God, if I could just have a fraction of their energy, I would be so happy. Well, what happened to us? We were once that vital, energetic child, and now we're, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm overwhelmed. We need to do the preventative maintenance for ourselves. We need proper rest and sleep. We need to declutter our systems from stored emotions, viruses, traumatic experiences that have accumulated in our systems over the course of life, our lifetimes. We need to balance our bodies so that they work better and more efficiently. You can buy a new computer, but you cannot buy a new you. So we know that the body has the ability to self-heal. We just have to have the right circumstances or set up the right circumstances in order for that to happen. There is something called the innate ability for the body to self-heal. And we see this when we cut our fingers. If you cut your finger, the body automatically knows, the innate wisdom knows what chemical reactions need to happen, what processes need to happen, and the right order for those things to occur without any conscious effort on our part. So breakdowns and imbalances within communication within the body compromise the body's ability to self-heal and regulate. The innate wisdom knows far more about what is going on with you than anyone else, no matter how well trained or how much knowledge they have. And body talk practitioners are trained to gather information from that innate wisdom for what needs to be addressed for a client during their session. So in a nutshell, body talk practitioners are experts in listening to the needs of the body. Body talk works with the priorities of the body. What you think is a problem may not be what the body wants to address. As internal communication is repaired and restored, the body's ability to self-heal begins to improve. Body talk shifts the power from the professional knowing what's best for you and gives that power back to the person and their body so that they can heal themselves without harm. So, I had promised you that I would give you information about a particular client that had some shoulder pain. So, uh, rather than focusing on a symptom, body talk finds the hidden causes of illness uh, by looking at physical, emotional, and environmental factors that are contributing to a symptom actually appearing or an illness actually coming to fruition. So here we have my client and her main complaint was shoulder pain that was radiating up into her neck and every time she took a deep breath she was in agonizing pain. So this sh shoulder and neck pain was actually being aggravated by numerous things going on in her life and her environment. And we revealed that information through a series of links. So links in body talk are simply parts and systems of the body that needs to harmonize functions or parts that need to improve their working relationship or events and information that are components to complete the story of information that we need. So links reveal the client's story. So these are the parts and pieces of components and components that actually were used to address the pain in her shoulder. So we had a fear of not being good enough. So she is a busy person um, and she has a household and relationships and she has a job but on top of that she actually does dancing and she was getting ready for a dance performance and 
So there was lots of late nights staying up and working on sewing costumes and she didn't feel like she had perfected her routine with all the um, rehearsals that she was doing and she just felt that there just wasn't enough time. And all of this stuff revealed itself in the links within her session. So she had a fear of not being good enough. We had working, so all the late hours that she was doing to help get the, the production going and sewing costumes into early morning uh, nights, the work that she was putting into rehearsing. So she had a belief system that she didn't have control over her time. And she had constant churning internal thoughts and worry going on. She had a need to succeed and do well in this dance performance. So and of course we had the components of physically dancing and the nerves, uh, the nerve supply, the circulation of the nerve supply from the adrenal glands in regards to the stress that she was experiencing and these qualities of obsession. So all of these details um, were all factors that actually contributed to her experiencing this shoulder pain that you know radiated into her neck and caused her to not be able to be in lots of pain when she took a deep breath. I did this session remotely, so she actually wasn't even physically present. And this is someone that I've been doing body talk over the course of a few years. And this is a text message that I got 30 minutes after her receiving her session. So her, her statement was, I was able to put my hand up over my head with no pain and I was able to take a deep breath for the first time in a week. Now, if we had a different approach and we actually tried to work on her shoulder and we didn't address the other factors that were contributing to her pain, well maybe she would have gotten a little relief or maybe she would have gotten been free of the pain for a short period of time, but it probably would have come back. Her shoulder pain did not return. So the pain that she was experiencing had nothing to do with her shoulder, even though that was her main complaint. This is why we don't treat symptoms in body talk. So health issues don't have just one contributing factor. It's usually a whole host of things combined that have accumulated until the body has had enough and it expresses its um, it expresses itself in the form of a symptom or pain or illness. So what does a body talk session look like? Well you fill out an intake form and the session can be either in person or remote. And I get the question all the time, how in the world can you work on me if I'm not in front of you? So my question to you is, if you have that question, how do you get music to come through your radio? You tune into the frequency of that radio station in order to pick up and have the information and have that music come through on your radio. You don't hear the frequency or the radio waves, you don't see them, you don't feel them. But somehow when you tune into that radio station and that frequency, you can get the information that's going on at that radio station, okay? And BiTalk practitioners are trained to tune into the frequency of the person even when they're not in front of you physically in order to obtain all of the information that is needed to do a treatment for them. So the client, if you are coming in person, then you would lie on a massage table fully clothed. You might kick off your shoes, um, and I would sit by your side and use your arm for biofeedback. And the length of session could be anywhere from 30 minutes to 50 minutes. The length of the session has nothing to do with the effectiveness or um, the quality of the session. Some techniques just simply take longer to implement, and um, sometimes there's lots of little tiny uh, formulas within a session and sometimes there's one big formula with lots of links. So our formula for listening to the body mind is a biofeedback technique, a protocol and procedure chart, revealing information of the story of what needs to be addressed for that person in the session through links and formulas, and then the information that is re revealed, the story is then uploaded into the brain using a gentle tapping technique over the head. And this is similar to someone coming and tapping you on your shoulder to get your attention. So we're getting the brain's attention and getting it to focus on the instructions that we have for it to listen to. And then after we do that, we tap over the heart. And that stores the entire body talk session in the whole body-mind complex. So in closing, we have this quote from Anika Sorenstrom. For those of you who are familiar or follow uh, women's professional golf. She is a female professional golfer 
and there was an article in ESPN magazine and she had this quote. They used a new therapy called Body Talk and told me I probably got the problems in my hip because of the things I've gone through in my personal life. It was a mental thing that made me fragile in a physical way. All was fine after September. I can swing the clubs like I want now. So that just feeds right back into my client who had the physical symptoms of pain in her shoulder and it was things that she was going through in her personal life that made her fragile in a physical way. Okay, So how can you learn more? Well, you can come in and have a body tech session. You can attend a free wellness workshop. I have things called a tea and tap workshop that I offer. And um, I do host them throughout the year, and they are free. And you can learn about and find out. You can learn about them and find out when the next one's coming up by visiting my website, regainhealthnh.com forward slash news. That'll give you the events that I'm participating in and the dates of the workshops that are coming in, are coming up. And I'm also a member of the London Dairy Dairy Chamber of Commerce, so you can go on their website as well and look under their calendar. Uh, calendar of events. When I have a free workshop coming up or any workshop, I do post it on that calendar for people to know that it's happening. The other things you can do is you can buy a book off of Amazon called The Science and Philosophy of Body Talk and you can read that and that's written by Dr. John Valheim and it gives you a lot more insight about the Body Talk system. Or you can really go at it and sign up for a Body Talk course yourself and you can do that through bodytalksystem.com. And I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to listen to this presentation and learn a little bit about Body Talk and how it can benefit you and uh, with no negative side effects. And I do hope that um, you'll reach out to me if you want to have a session. I do free phone consultations. You can reach me um, on the phone by 603-566-0819. You can reach me through my website. I have a contact me uh, button that you can reach out to me and email me, or you can reach out to me through regainhealthnh at comcast.net for email. So I look forward to meeting some of you at a future workshop, and I thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something new. Thanks so much.